Have you ever felt insecure about yourself sometimes? Okay, Kelly. Almost Kobe. uncomfortable in your own skin. Kobe, come here. Go, Kelly, go. Well then. Meet me. This is me when I was nine years old, and let me tell you, I love to eat. <laughs> Look at my nips. To say the least, I was super insecure about my body. Why are you so fat? I grew up in the Bay Area, a little bit outside of San Francisco in the suburbs with, in my eyes, was the most athletic family in town and I was the one fat kid. From my perspective, I was fat. <laughs> Okay, it's just funny to call myself fat. I was super insecure about my body, but it never stopped me from playing soccer, baseball, tennis. I did most of the things I wanted to, but there was one thing I hated most, having my shirt off. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, it's so embarrassing, bro. And as I look back, all the photos at these pool parties, I rarely have my shirt off. Shirt, 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 shirt. You get the idea. I don't know why I was so afraid. Yo. What's good? How you doing? Not much, just chilling. What are you up to? You remember when I was fat? Yeah, of course. Fuck. <laughs> I remember you'd always talk about Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was looking back at some photos, yeah. and I was like, huh, you know, this is weird. Why do I have a shirt on in every single one of these? Every swim party, you would wear an Under Armour. Dude, remember <laughs> I remember yeah. specifically going to pool parties and like accidentally falling into the pool with my clothes on. Like, do you remember that? I remember that, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was accidental. You just jumped in with your clothes on. You didn't even make it look like an accident. Dude, look at this photo I pulled up. The one person. That's funny. Were you still fat then, though? See, I wasn't even fat, but I was still, like, insecure. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, huh? I mean, you weren't skinny. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to fat shame me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Favorite day of the week. You getting it going. Oh, I spilled on myself. You kick I'm me, sorry. dog! I'm so sorry. Holy shit. I broke my finger. Oh, God, Look! This teacher right here, he's my uh, real life hater. Like, actually went out of his way to hate on my dreams and stuff. Nice. There was actually only one motive, one reason I started working out. There was just one goal. All those day one, day two, day three. This is the moment that I've been dreaming of, I guess. And you're gonna witness it. All right, here we go. I can't really tell if I did it. <laughs> Today we're... Today... God, today we're heading back to the bay. Gonna go see the fam. Go see if they remember when I was a little hefty. Gotta go to the source of the problem and where I grew up. It's not really a problem. Okay, whatever, we're gonna go. <laughs> So, here's what happened. I was supposed to have dinner with my grandparents in Los Angeles, but out of nowhere, Luke and I decided to drive up to the Bay, so I missed them. And so then I came up with this crazy lie that I was collabing with a big YouTuber in San Diego and told him I couldn't make it. But I made up that lie so I could surprise them today. And we don't get to see each other that much, so they were really upset that we didn't get to meet. So we're gonna make everything up and surprise them today. We're here at my grandma's. She thinks an Amazon package is gonna be arriving to her house that I accidentally sent, but she's gonna unfortunately get me instead. What if they hear you? They're inside, it's too cold out. This is not good. Maybe they're ignoring you on purpose. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I think the Amazon package arrived. Did you want to check real quick? Okay, let me just check. Hold on. Ah! Ah! No, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Surprise! I was really uh, surprised. Oh, wow, God! I'm going to go down to see. Uh, uh, she... I like how she's still on the phone. <laughs> still on the phone. <laughs> Were you really waiting for a package or not? I was the package. Oh, you're the package. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Wait oh, a minute. You so were supposed to go to San Diego. <laughs> you, you didn't go to San Diego? No. What? Be because I wanted to surprise you here. Well, you wouldn't have been surprised. Well, that's for darn sure. You could have soup with us. Oh, Always so offering me food, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah you guys good can I actually need to interrogate you real quick. Interrogate? Oh my yeah. god, I'm not guilty of anything. <laughs> Nana, you remember when I was fat? Fat? You were never fat. I knew you'd say that. You've <laughs> never been fat. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you were. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> How old were you? Like age 9, 10, yeah, 11, yeah. Like well, around you know, there. A lot of kids are a little bit forky <laughs> so at that age. You do remember. What? January 15th. No, I can't remember. At 4 p.m. No, I mean, this year? After lunch no. of 2009. 2009, no. You offered me not one, not two, but three servings of dessert. I did? Well, I'm gonna be surprised. That's, <laughs> there it is, right there in the tummy. You remember March 2nd, 2010? No. At 7.57 p.m.? No. When you offered me not one, not two, but three sandwiches? <laughs> I don't really know what Is I was going with that. I don't know what I was going with that. <laughs> you were a little bit chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Studies have shown that you don't have to necessarily be skinny no. to be healthy. Just eat properly and don't get too overweight. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you, you know. You said overweight said, and looked at me. I, I'm looking at you because I'm trying to <laughs> get my point across. <laughs>in the we are home in the bay area we drove six hours so i could click through this computer it's got all the gems so we're gonna find some <coughs> oh my god i almost just died damn what a stunner this is right before it happened ah oh, yes ah oh, this is what we came here for damn let's zoom in on that oh beauty <laughs> oh my god so that's me on the left. Literally this photo was taken in the perfect moment because I'm looking down at my body like, ugh. Oh, but you know, I kept it a hundred. I'm still myself at the end of the day. Oh, oh, that's so weird. What the heck? What the heck? No, oh, that's so strange. Oh, look at the snow Man, that's a gem. Stop trying to lick me. It's like I was English. Look at that. It's pretty, it's pretty floppy. <laughs> Ooh. Can I even? This is probably one of my favorite photos because of how like, round my face is. September 26, 2012. Dear future Kelly, Mr. Collins is making us write to ourselves in the future. I hope you are still friends with Kale, Mark, and Christian. You still say skadoosh? You ever tell you know who you have a crush on them? I discovered hand farting today too. <laughs> I don't have a phone yet, but Kale has an orange one. Also, I hope you have a six pack by now. Kind regards, Sir Kelly. Throughout this whole journey from being fat 
to now. It was all about learning. It was about learning to love yourself. It was about learning to set a goal and accomplish it. I remember as a kid thinking like, tomorrow I'll wake up with a six pack. You know, if I didn't have that dinner or something, you know? And it's not overnight. If you want something, which I just wanted to be fit, I just didn't want to be fat. You make the decision. I just wanted to live as healthy as I can because I just realized I have one life. And then I also realized in the process, at the very core of this problem for me, was that I wanted to be the best version of myself. And I felt like I wasn't because of this. I remember I kind of fasted a little bit, like I didn't eat much and I got really skinny. And then I just went back to being fat. You know, it's like, it's about finding something that works for you and eventually just you meet the goal so that was my story thank you for watching i don't really usually do outros so this is weird go love yourself Trump.